Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Jo and I'm an independent cloud consultant based in Sydney, Australia. This is a video series which will help you prepare for your Azure AI Engineer Associate certification. We will go through questions very similar to the exam and discuss in detail each and every options provided. Before we dive into the question, I would highly recommend a basic understanding of Azure AI services to understand what we are going to discuss. Now regarding me, I just watched one training to prepare for the exam and with the help of the training, I passed the exam in the very first attempt. Although you can follow any trainings, I would highly recommend this one. I'll provide the link of the above set training in the description box. So let's get into the video. The format of the question in this video is there will be a code snippet provided and you have to complete the code based on the requirements. Now let us see the question. You are building a corporate website that will showcase meeting recordings using Azure Video Analyzer for media. You embed the player and insights widgets into your web page. The solution must enable keyword search within the video content display identified people and their names from the video, show video captions in US English. How should you configure the URLs for the widgets to meet these requirements? Now, there is a Cognitive Insights Widgets URL and a Player Widget URL. Now, complete the code using the correct options and then the options are provided. So, in the real exam, there will be few options and you have to drag and drop that options into the code. That's how it is done. So let us break down the question. What are the keywords present in the question? So the question is about Azure Video Analyzer for media or you can say it as Azure AI Video Indexer. So it's about AI Video Indexer. Now what we have to do with it? You have to embed the player and insights widgets of this video indexer into your web page. And what are the requirements? We have to enable keyword search within the video content. Now display the identified people and their names from the video. And we have to show video captions in US English. So these are the requirements. Now let us go through the Microsoft documentation. AI Video Indexer is a service provided by Azure to derive insights from videos. It also provides transcripts for given video. Now, what does this article say? So, it shows how you can embed Azure AI Video Indexer widgets into your apps. AI Video Indexer supports embedding three types of widgets into your apps. So, there are three types of widgets, Insights, Player and Editor. So, they have asked about Player and Insights widgets in the question. What does this Insights widget do? Insights widget includes all visual insights that were extracted from your video indexing process. It supports the following optional URL parameters. So what are the parameters it supports? One is widgets. Allows you to control the insights that you want to render. If you pass widgets equal to people keywords, it will render only people and keywords you are insights. So as I said, video indexer is for getting insights from the video. So if you pass this, it will identify the people and keywords present in the video. Now next is the controls widget. It allows you to control the controls that you want to render. Example controls equal to search comma download renders only search option and download button. So this widget allows you to specify what are buttons you want in your player. So if you give control equal to search, there will be a search button present in the UI. So what we need is search, control is equal to search. Now next is the player widget. You can use the player widget to stream video by using adaptive bitrate. The player widget supports the following optional URL parameters. So one of the parameters is captions, fetches the caption in the specified language. So you have to give caption equal to English, US or whichever language you want the captions in. Now there is another parameter which is show captions. It is a boolean value. You can give true or false. Makes the player load with the captions already enabled. If you want to see the caption, you have to pass the parameter show captions equal to true to the URL. So these are the key points here. So in the player widget, you have to pass captions equal to English, US and show captions equal to true. And in the insights widget, you have to give what are widgets you want and controls equal to 
search. By the way, I'll be providing the links for all this documentation in the description box. Now let us go back to the question. So how do we complete the code? Now it is clear that we have to pass widgets equal to P plan keyword and controls is search. That is how we complete the insights widget URL. Now in the player widget, in the show captions, it is true and the caption is in English US. So the correct answer is option C. In this video, we saw about Azure AI video indexer widgets.